Choosing the perfect hotel or apartment can be tough. Users often spend ages scrolling, comparing locations, trying to figure out if an area really fits their needs. Is it good for sightseeing? Is it family friendly? What if you could cut through that noise and provide a simple, tailored score right on the listing, making it easy for your users to understand what an area has to offer and easily compare across different locations? Well, now you can. We're diving into the Places Aggregate API. This powerful tool lets you go beyond finding single points of interest. Instead, it lets you instantly quantify what an area is really like. Think how many four-star restaurants are within a 500 meter radius, or What's the concentration of family-friendly parks versus vibrant nightlife spots? This API gives you access to these aggregated insights so that you can build those tailored location scores your users will love, helping them understand the character and convenience of a location at a glance. Today, we'll use Places Aggregate API to build a custom location score. In this example, let's imagine that I run a hotel chain. I want each hotel listing to have a good for tourist score that quickly tells guests if the location is an ideal for exploring a new city and is in proximity to activities and attraction. First things first, you'll need to decide what matters for your score. What types of places are important to your target user? For our good for tourist score, we might want to use places like tourist attractions, restaurants, parks, coffee shops, and museums. You can find the full list of available types in our documentation at the link below. The API will then quantify how many of these chosen types exist within your specified area. Next, we will assign a weight to each type based on its importance. Maybe tourist attractions and restaurants are highly important, say 0.8, while coffee shops are less critical, maybe 0.2. These weights are crucial for tailoring the score for your needs. You should define them based on your specific use case and user preferences. Now, we need to get the data to calculate the score. We will call Places Aggregate API for each of the place types around each of my hotel locations. In the request, you will define the area of interest. A common way is using a circle filter, specifying the hotel's latitude and longitude with a radius like 500 meters. In this example, we are making a call for the restaurant place type for one of my locations. A separate API call will need to be made for each place type for each location. You can also add filters like a rating filter to only count places with good reviews, say 3.8 stars or higher. Check the docs for other location filters like searching within a specific geographic region like a zip code or city, or even a custom polygon. After making these calls for all your types and locations, you'll have the raw counts you need. Now that we have the counts for each place type and their assigned weights, how do we turn this into a score? A straightforward approach is to calculate a weighted sum. You can simply multiply the count for each place type by its corresponding weight and sum these up together. For instance, let's say one of our hotel locations yields a raw weighted score of 75.9. Since this raw number isn't very user-friendly, we want to normalize it. Scaling this value, perhaps to a familiar zero to five range, makes it much more intuitive. Logarithmic normalization is often effective here, especially when your counts can vary widely. This method would transform our 75.9 into a score like 4.4. Remember to experiment with different normalization methods to find the one that best suits your specific data and desired scale. Now, if you're seeking a more sophisticated and nuanced score, particularly when dealing with qualitative data, you can leverage the Gemini API. Imagine you have rich descriptive information for each location. This could be information like quiet at night or good for families. Or perhaps you also have specific user preferences like traveling with kids or looking for budget-friendly options. You can feed all this information into Gemini, including your calculated raw counts and weights qualitative descriptions about each location, and any user preferences or other contextual information. It is important to give Gemini clear system instructions. Tell it precisely how to generate a suitability score on your desired scale, for example, one to five, emphasizing that it should consider all the provided data points. To ensure robust data integrations into your systems that are predictable and usable, always define a structured output schema in your API call. This schema will tell Gemini exactly how to format the response, such as returning the location and calculate a score in a JSON object. 
This approach allows Gemini to factor in descriptive aspects that a simple algorithmic approach won't be able to capture. Finally, once you have generated your scores, the next step is to display them. For our example, we might show the score clearly on our hotel's information page, or we could even use it as a filter option that would let users search for places with a high family-friendly or good for tourist score. This immediately provides users with quick data-driven insights to empower their decision-making. Ready to build your own custom score? Dive into the Places Aggregate API documentation to get started. You can find the concepts from this video detailed in our article linked below, along with code snippets. As always, we love hearing from you. Use our feedback channel if you have any questions, and please share what you build over on our Discord server.